and this is the first, one of the uh, first matches for the uh, Make It Rain tournament. On this green side here, we have Team Can't Be Decided, and on the red team, we have Team Last Call Heroes. I am Limes, and I am here with Trilobite. Trilobite, Hello. why don't you go through the uh, team compositions real quick? What we seem to have is Can't Be Decided running a very strong control composition with with Carapace, Ikor, Psychozin, Tatiana, and Vezin. Like I said, it's a very, very heavy control setup. They have a lot of crowd control, but not much in the way of damage. The primary damage dealer is going to have to be Tatiana and probably Psychozin. They don't have much else. Last Call Heroes running a more typical team. We have Balak as their ranged carry, Zai as their anti-carry, Psychozin as support, Ikor as a healer and support, and Lazarus as the tank. And it uh, looks like Team Last Call Hero is actually doing almost a reverse jungle, starting at the buff and then going through to all the other creeps. While... That's actually a very smart decision compared to most times, because if you're going to get ganked at the end of the jungle, you're going to get ganked at the buff. Yeah. So it's actually a very smart move, whereas we're seeing here on Can't Be Decided is doing a split jungle, which you can do with a team like they have. And they're farming both sides of the jungle at once, so they're likely going to have to forego the buff, but they are going to get slightly more XP. So uh, just from these team compositions, who do you think has the, uh, has the main advantage at the moment? I would say Can't Be Decided has the advantage simply because of AoE Hell, which they're going to be able to deliver in the late game. Definitely. As we see both teams just finish up the jungle, we are going to see the lane compositions real quick. May might have Lazarus mid, but he looks like he's just going to go top. Instead, maybe having a Zai mid, that would... I would say it's more likely we're going to see the Ikor mid, but no, we are going to see Zai. That would actually hurt a lot, but looks like Carapace on, uh, Axon on Carapace might meet up with Ico here. But instead, he's actually jungling the enemy jungle, a like jungle Carapace. Uh, I haven't actually seen this before. I have seen jungle Carapace quite a bit, it's actually quite effective. Especially if he's, uh, jungling the enemy jungle, so and he'll just be able to, uh, constantly, uh, take that jungle creeps. Daywalker not playing very aggressively at all. He could do some serious damage to Kel. Ooh, the bot lane. Husku getting off. very low. Just getting out of that, uh, Sorensi's range. Tia soloing the top lane, which, uh, on Vezin, which should be alright. Ooh, PGM Kel in the mid lane. Some serious trouble there in mid, but Kel going to get out of it. Pop the health potion, but there's but it was uh, pretty much cancelled instantly. Dave was gonna get some help from this Ikor. Looks like Ikor is almost roaming, just going from lanes, helping people out. He's likely seeing the solo lane on top and thinking that he's going to go bottom and try to push the weaker the through lanes down there, which makes perfect sense, because Lazarus can hold Vezin. Mm, definitely. And he's probably going to try to push bottom through very quickly, which does make sense. Especially if you're up against... Uh... A Psychozen and an Ikor. Should be able to do it very effectively. Oh, nice stun by Kel in the mid lane. I think he actually stunned him mid kick. <laughs> Kel does not main Tatiana, so I will be interested in seeing how that works out for him. Soren Z already doing so much damage to the enemy Ikor. Despite him or still having uh, 14, 14 armor at level 3. 14 armor at level 3 is actually a bit low in the level 50 meta. You usually see 16 or 18 around now mm. on a true tank build, but Ikor is not a true tank, so I guess that makes sense. Looks like Daywalker was going to gank top as Master Blast was getting pushed back a bit. They might still go for it. But uh, this is just opening up this mid lane for PGM Kale to just farm a lot, which uh, probably isn't the safest. Though, to be fair, Kel was pretty much farming that lane anyway. Daywalker not wanting to get close to that Tatiana. Mm. And with those creeps there, Kel now knows there's absolutely nobody in mid lane, so... Bacon must be having fun on his stream. He still hasn't replied to any of my questions yet. <laughs> 
I think that game would actually be fairly fun. But we're in this game and actually can't be decided. I'm actually looking forward to seeing how they go in the late game. They're one of the uh, they're one of the newer yet almost old teams because a lot of them are the old uh, to be decided players or to be determined. Depends how you look at it. Yeah, a lot of them, like you said, are the more veteran players. They're the people that the developers tend to talk to more often. Two of them are mods, so. There's a lot of individual experience on that team, I'm just not sure how well it's all come together. Mm. And it looks like they may just be together for almost the pub storm. Ooh, but Axe getting taken out for the first kill. Trying to dive away, but uh, just wasn't enough. Caught in the jungle by the looks of it. <clears throat> he was jungling out and he just came out in a uh, Master Blaster. Just not sure what they're doing by sneaking mid lane though. Kel is just taking down that tower quite quickly. Sorenzi bottom lane Snipers. getting very low. Actually uh, hiding in the Icor Grove, but he's gonna get taken out here. Not able to uh, out heal it or out life steal. Nope. Does get taken out. Not early game. It was a uh, green ping on these uh, two in this bush. I wonder if they know they're there at all. That would not surprise me, they do have a ward in that other bush. Mm, so they must have seen them uh, walk in. Likely. Alex 5-5 five, five, just trying to hold this mid lane, already half health. And that tower just really low as well. Yeah, they've let Kel farm for a really long time, and that's really going to hurt Alex. Yeah. Trying to farm there. Master Blaster's going to come down, but Kel sees him. And that stun really hurt him. He almost could have died if Tatiana followed it up or something. But uh, probably just out of mana. Tat, I think Tat actually used everything. Tat did do the full combo and the standard melee, but it didn't didn't kill Alex right away. No, I don't think she had a roll either. It was like Axe is just sitting here trying to get an initiate onto Master Blaster. Oh, Mr. But, Blaster. But, not that the poke does anything to Carapace, mind you, but... Yeah. Still think it was slightly a poor decision on the part of Last Call Heroes just giving mid to Kel like that, because now he's level 6. Yeah, and he can just run around the map and pretty much choose someone they want to die, and looks like they want Daywalker to die. Axe and just sitting yeah, on the side. that's going to be some serious trouble for him. There's the slow. PGM Kel. Oh, there's the knockup. PGM Kel can follow up with the stun and, and the He's just going to drop really easily. Axe, wants some revenge for what happened earlier. <laughs> Definitely. Looks like they are just going to take this buff early on. It's good to see uh, teams actually going for that. Hey, uh, Chester Blaster's about to be in for a little surprise here. Nope, <laughs> he's not good. Especially with what it gives. Uh, I do believe both the buffs give 100 global gold. Looks nope, like they're going for Master Blaster. Ooh, going that knockup just missing. If that would have hit, that would have been painful. But he decides to go in anyway. PGM Kel just out of range though. Yeah, right now Kel is going to be their main source of firepower, as he's going to be throughout the entire match. They really don't have a lot of late game damage. Yeah, a lot of their team is just a lot of <laughs> crowd control. And until they get uh, some of their signatures, probably not going to be doing that much damage, but even then, I mean, you I have... dare say that late game can't be decided, will be in trouble if they can't control that Balak. Ooh, he it will looks like Tyr is just sitting in this bush, and Daywalker doesn't realize he's there. He's waiting for Alex to move up as well, though, he's trying to get the uh, maybe the double kill. Tyr is just sitting and there, waiting for the rest of the team. He's probably going to come up and just pop the ultimate straight off the bat. It's before he could get the arena off, but the pop-up means he's going to get it anyway if he wants to. Ooh, Alex just getting away with that uh, Sykazen ultimate. And the team deciding not to chase it. Ooh, but they're going to oh, maybe meet up here. Recall. <laughs> Axe getting slow by Master Blaster. He's just gonna run away. Master Blaster getting stunned though. Popping the ultimate, Ed. getting away. Soren's having a close call on bottom lane. Likely got. Oh, but there's the ultimate onto Master Blaster from Tier on the top lane. And that's gonna be the uh, the two kills in the top lane. Good old Vezin. But yeah, this uh, this Balak definitely just Soren's farming this bottom lane. They could be in trouble if they don't keep him in check. The amount of CC that they have, though, I'm not so certain that's going to be a problem at any point in the game. Balak's still being really squishy. But uh, he does have quite a long range, so he may be able to escape. But I think 
with Carapace, with his just super long range knock up and crowd control. May be able to uh, get the Balak, but we'll see. Definitely something to look out for. Looks like there was a surrender vote for some reason. Not sure why that happened. But we do have PDM Kel coming down to this bot lane, obviously just wanting to gank Sorensy. Sorensy is fairly low. Uh, PGM Kel might almost just dive him. He is out of mana, so he can't pop his stun. PGM Kel's just sitting there. Obviously just waiting for them to push up a little bit. And he's deciding that he's had enough of this and he's going to go gank Top lane though, Tia getting an ultimate from Daywalker to the face does get taken out. Just not seeing that uh, Alex in that brush. He did just get ganked out of nowhere. Oh, Tear, how can you fail Vezin like that? <laughs> and this is going to be a lot of damage on top tower right here. This house is definitely going to be taken out. And... Yeah, this tower is toast. CBD actually just losing a few silly kills, actually, almost. I mean, they lost first blood. And, just and losing a kill. silly tower now as well. There goes top, the first tower kill of the game. Yeah. So, definitely, uh... Last Call Heroes is holding their own in this match. Looks like they really want to dive that Balak. Yeah, they really just want him. Do you have a bit of a convergence onto this bot lane here with Mr. Blister oh, and... Someone's in trouble. Alex coming down, Oh, but Sags is going to take the slow and everything to the face. Sorensy was going to come in and help, but it's not going to be enough. Master Blaster is uh, doing what he can, which is uh, Oblivion Missile and Runaway. <laughs> no chance for Sags then. <laughs> Alex a bit <laughs> upset he didn't go after Lazarus instead. <laughs> are going to go ahead and get that speed buff there. Looks like Carapace got it. Good choice. And they're just gonna probably just go ahead and gank this uh, Zai here in the mid gank. lane. And there's the knock up, That's gonna be followed up. And badly for somebody, Alex but no, it looks the like same. they all are getting away. That's not enough. Axe is caught in the uh, enemy jungle, but Psycho's in. Ooh, doing a little bit Psycho's of damage. Not able to do that much damage early game though, and he might get away. He might take him out though, and there's the <laughs> ultimate. <laughs> Taking that all to the face. He's just gonna jungle the creeps with it, or at least try to. Just going to sit here and try to hold mid. I don't really blame Alex for healing those creep. That creep, by the way, I mean his ult's already there. Why not? Yeah. It looks like they really want this mid tower down. It is fairly low, so they are uh, could quite easily take it. Wow, T actually taking a lot of damage from Psychos then, which is surprising. He only has five armor. Wow, really not building the uh, oh, the pure offense tree. Yeah, is my. What do you think <laughs> of pure <laughs> offense, Vezin? I assume that they they need Vezin with the offense tree to be able to deal any damage late game. True. Oh. I mean, most of the teams that I'm used to playing on, I can afford to be tanky because we have some source of late game damage, but can't be decided does not. They're going to take this tower right here. That tower is over. Definitely. Ooh, oh, Daywalker oh, getting oh, the ult oh, onto PTM Kill. <laughs> a good turnaround kill there. Zai doing work, just uh, really prioritizing his ultimates on the right person. Really just a good idea. Very nice hit there by Daywalker onto Kel. Picking up a nice bounty from that Tatiana. And it looks like we lost a tower. Looks like both towers on top lane are down now. They will both. He's gonna meet up with Tia. Tia taking a lot of damage in these low mana, so he's just gonna have to run away. But just that, yeah, that offensive uh, Vezin. Really not as tanky as you expect him to be. A little bit of a knock up in mid. Axton, Alex, going at it. Alex popping the ultimate, Austin popping the heal. Taking a lot of damage as well. But he's gonna Rodak. meet Tatiana here. Oh, there's the stun. He's in the tower. Oh, range. there goes Alex. It's gonna get switched around and taken down. Action on bottom lane too, but it doesn't look like anybody is going to die. Looks like Husku wanted to tower dive almost. I'm not sure why he's up against the uh, Lazarus. Lazarus. I oh, that's not <laughs> smart. There goes the mid tower for last call heroes. Master Blast was actually taking a lot of damage from that Icor. 
Oh, I call slow. Looks like we do have PGM Kel and Axe coming down to this bot lane. Master Blast is gonna have to be a bit careful, doesn't want to push fall too much. It looks like they're just gonna go behind him and tower dive anyway. But PTM Kel not backing up Axe, and Axe actually going in alone. <laughs> Tiger Van Am Master Blaster. He's gonna go in, and he's going to take that kill on Master Blaster. You know, gonna let his teammate eat some tower shots. Rodax almost Ooh, going down. Rodax. Daywalk coming in onto Axe. Where's the yell? I uh, guess he didn't have it off cooldown yet. Kinda weird. I mean, I didn't really see what he was doing before. Red Axe getting the close call. That ultimate would have been nice if it killed him. Sorenzi is gonna do what he can to defend this tower, but he does get knocked in the air. PGM Kel is gonna stun Nuke for the kill. Alex5, again, doing damage to Axe. But he's gonna be able to get away with the help of his team. Looks like, uh, can't be decided. It's just trying to, uh, push these towers as much as they can get a good early advantage. Given that uh, Suku, it seems, has to go AFK for a bit in between these matches, they probably just want to finish it as fast as they can. Yeah. I do believe earlier on they were complaining about uh, some of the times that they were playing games, but Tier and uh, Daywalker... Oh, but Daywalker actually getting the ult through oh, the bye. silence! But he is gonna be uh Oh, out. Daywalk is gonna go down as well. Foolishly hitting the cleanse while Ikor's vines are on him and just eating all that damage. Yeah. Ikor's vines doing more damage to you the more you move. And with that cleanse, he's moving at full speed. So, he's taking a lot of damage. Alex5 and Master Blaster are gonna uh, chase down the Who's going right axe. It's not gonna be enough though. Nope. Axed might, he's going to get away, and they're not going to bother chasing him. Hmm. I'm surprised that uh, Daywalker actually managed to get his ult through that silence. How? What's the duration on that silence? Is it... Who's, Psychos or Vezins? Vezins. Vezins is just three seconds, I believe. It's not actually that long in the grand scheme of things. It did not seem like three seconds. <laughs> but Tia yeah, just... The graphic to... lasts longer than three seconds, because it has a secondary effect that lasts for six. Oh yeah, that would make sense. Seems they're going now for speed buff, all five of them. Of course. Probably not needed, exactly. But uh, of course, if they take him, the enemy team can't, so it's better just to take it. Giving it to the uh, Tediana, which is probably a good idea. It means you can get those stuns off very well. And uh, last call here is it's actually pushing this mid lane. Sykes in with the ultimate. This is just going to melt unless Tediana can do something about it. I oh, do, Walker. Doing so much damage uh, to Daywalker. Oh, he's getting out of there. But Tia. I go down, though. Tia getting an ultim, uh Master Blaster. Daywalker might be able to get I'm away. disappointed that he didn't get the other two. And it looks PGM like Daywalker is so fast. Hot, and he's dead. Kill. Looks like Alex is going to be uh, fighting out with Axed. But he's going to get called out here. PGM Kel is just going to pop he this dumb combo to go again. <laughs> she does pop the ultimate. <laughs> He's popping his heal. He's doing as much as he can to get away, but it's not going to be enough. And another turret actually being destroyed in the vault lane. Arr. And it looks like we just had another surrender vote. I'm not sure which team is trying to surrender. I think we can obviously make that distinction right now. <laughs> so far, can't be decided. Up 13 kills to 5 with an 8,000 gold advantage and one tower. <laughs> yeah, so they definitely do have the advantage at the moment. Seeing a lot of Orchid Stones on a team can't be decided, I'd like to think that's my influence at work. <laughs> Previously on that team, I was one of the few that gets the Orchid Stone, but it is such a powerful item for its price, and I think that uh, my teammates here are finally starting to catch on to that. Master Blaster taking so much damage from those abilities. Tia, ooh, Vortex just not hitting them. There's an ultimate onto him though, but he's just going to get healed up by the two healers on this team. Icor Groves everywhere. <laughs> was a ping on the bot lane, but uh, oh, Tia, what is he doing? Running into the enemy team, always trying to bait, but he's just Danger. gonna get taken out. What are you doing to my lovely Vezin? 
CBD just losing a teammate out of nowhere. Husku might uh, follow up. Master Blaster getting a good slow on. Axe coming up. Alex popping his ultimate. Axe is just going to be able to jump away. But he does have an Icor slow on him. But it uh, looks like last call here. Like doesn't Kirvo, want to follow up with fairly tanky, so he's just going to survive that. <laughs> Tear complaining that he clicked there and he went through the jungle. So uh, that's the reasoning behind his death. Uh, they're going to meet up in PGM Kel here. All, pretty much all five of them. Can Oh, PGM Kel uh, getting cancelled from his ultimate. And Daywalk is just going to be chasing him as much as he can. But he's going to meet up with the rest of the team, but he does back out. And he's going to walk right into that tower. Donk. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Axe really wants a piece of him. But uh, I believe Daywalk oh. may still have his ultimate. And he does have backup from his team here. Oh, but there's a knockup. Could get the kill. Oh, oh just not managing to uh, get anything off. There's a Tatiana yeah, signature. Sure. Alex is going to be taken out. Mr. Blister is being chased. There's the slow. There's another slow. There's a silence. He's and no ult for you. <laughs> As predicted, Kelethon is the only primary source of damage for can't be decided at the moment. Hitting that level 16 very quickly as well. No doubt, because he was left in that lane for so long. Yeah. Can't be decided, generally with the level advantage as well. You eat that tower shot, Rodex. <laughs> Looks like they really want this mid tower, and it's going to be the next one down. Definitely. Few of them these tower shots. Oh, there are creeps right there. Especially in Pusku, yeah, there's the Psychos in Ultimate. That tower is just going to melt instantly, and no one's going to be able to do anything about it. I imagine they'll probably try for the next one right now. They do have a bit of an advantage in most respects. They are higher level except for Rodax. I don't think they will. They uh, they split up a little bit. <laughs> bad, snaring a creep with his roots. Advantage is firmly in the hands of can't be decided right now. All of them being positive in kills except for Tier. Why Tier? Definitely. Oh, Daywalker going on the Husku, popping the ultimate. He could just get the kill here straight off the bat. But his oh, yellow no. actually misses. He, he, he is he going to get away? Is he going to get the kill? He's stuck in a really awkward place and Icor is coming down very quickly. Husku, oh, popping the clutch. Heal. He's, oh, he does yeah. get taken out with Husku. Down to about 13 health for a second. Death oh. by Groot, how embarrassing. <laughs> Daywalker just missing those few crucial yells. Especially that first one, which really would have been the uh, killing blow if he managed to pull it off. Unfortunate for him. I have to comment that I'm not sure what he was thinking engaging with that many creeps around. I mean, creeps do a lot of damage, and I don't think a lot of people respect that. Mm, definitely. Looks like they just want to uh, get this tower. But Last Call Heroes is, is just going to be hard defending it. Which means that it looks like we have Can't Be Decided grouping up down here on the bottom lane. Could see Tia meeting up with a few of the enemy team in this brush here. He does get slowed and silenced. It's fairly low health, but he's going to uh, run in with the rest of his team and get healed. Uh, Mr. Blister is going to be a taken out. And he caught us as well. Just silenced so much he can't use his ultimate. I would like to chip in and comment here that I don't think Lazarus is truly a tank anymore. Oh, oh there's, there's a, a, a signature. Uh, signature. But a follow up signature there from a. Uh, oh, there goes Daywalk. Triple kill for Husku there. Just an absolute wipe with those uh, two signatures and the Vezin ultimate. It's going to be able to take this tower. Nothing worried. That tower does eventually go down. Alex 5-5. Five, five. Oh, and a signature from Tia. Just straight onto Soren Z. Soren Z is just going to get wiped out. And there goes the tower as well. Insult the injury. Looks like Tia does want to uh, push this crop lips a little bit, but his team Here, isn't there to back him out. Alex oh, yeah, take they are. Alex. <laughs> now, is that a deliberate fake out, or is that just Tier sort of advancing his own agenda and his teammates deciding to help him. I'm not sure. He did seem fairly aggressive and it has uh, paid off a bit. They're going to be able to uh, take this relic, which means the 
Mega Crit will just spawn directly in the base as well. Which is a pretty good change, so that Titan is just gonna run around and do a lot of damage. It'll really just stand there and do nothing. <laughs> They're not exactly the smartest of troops. I what to do, he's like, this is cool. They, they make up in their brains. Esther is threatening firing into that for abandoning them. <laughs> <laughs> he does the point. That is, at that time, is just gonna sit there and die. That is quite disappointing. They are actually trying to defend it. <laughs> does look like we actually have a team fight going on. Alex five 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 getting a little bit called out, and he's gonna be taken out. Signature from Rodax. Daywalker is actually dancing. <laughs> oh. And again, that Daywalker. Titan. Why did you do that? That Titan, man. That Titan. Look at him. <laughs> He's just chilling. Bot tower going down, probably eventually. Of course, the Titan being no help whatsoever for Soren Z is probably just gonna sit there and take it. Yeah, goodbye, Titan. Titan sitting there just chilling, you know, thinking about Shard. <laughs> the new immortal that recently released, the goddess of creeps. Mm -hmm. There goes another Acropolis, and it looks like they're gonna try to end this and take the shrine. Yeah. Well, they were asking, how do you win a match in 35 minutes, and, well, they've just proven their own point that it can be done. Definitely. I guess just build a team with just so much crowd control, and you pretty much win by default. Soren Z is gonna die, though. Trying to defend, getting killed by Kel, and that is game over. The, uh, first win for Combi decided against Last Call Heroes. It was a good game. My name is Limes, I'm here with Trilobite. Thanks for watching, guys.